is starting the timer and here is the question please mm Uh, Dr. Samreen, can you please tell me what role I have to serve as, as the patient? candidate on the... Yes, patient. 19 years as, old. As girl. a patient. So, I, so I'll read out the instructions? No. Or the, the, uh, you'll answer the questions. If you, I'll read out. Yes, no, you'll not read out. You'll answer the question. And what Dr. Mohammed will ask you. So if you okay. have read and understood, Dr. Mohammed, can you begin your history taking? Okay. Uh, hello, I am Mohammed Al Ayan, one of the exam candidates. May I confirm your name and age, please? So you are 19 years old. Girl. Okay, my Nine name is. Uh, okay, my name is uh, Burhan. I'm 19 years old. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, nice to meet you, Mr. Burhan. Today I have uh, been asked to ask you a few questions regarding your condition. Are you okay? Yes. Yes. Okay. How can I help you, you today? So this is your complaint. Uh, okay. Pain. Actually, actually, uh, I'm having abdominal pain. Mm -hmm. I am sorry to hear that. Uh, where did you feel that pain? I have this pain in stomach area. Mm -hmm. Stomach. Lemon language, yes. Mm -hmm. Does it move anywhere? It, uh, it radiates towards the back. Mm -hmm. When did you first notice that pain? Uh, the pain has been since morning. Mm -hmm. Did it start suddenly or gradually? Suddenly. No, it, it started suddenly. Yes. Mm -hmm. Did it come and go? Yes, it came and go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Any specific time during the day that the pain increase? No, the pain, the, the pain was of same intensity. Mm -hmm. uh, anything that the pain increase or uh, uh, stop? Sorry? Anything that the pain increase or stop? No, mm -hmm. nothing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Could you please describe that the pain uh, for me, as uh, colicky, cramping, stabbing. Yeah, it's 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 colicky pain. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, 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 if you had to rate the pain from one to ten, uh, how would you rate the pain? I would rate it five out of ten. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, have you needed any slims or discharge or pain in uh, uh, in your tummy, especially with the bowel opening? Sorry, have you needed any slims or discharge? Have you needed any slims or discharge or diarrhea? Yes, yes, I had two episodes of diarrhea mm -hmm. and uh, I am feeling nause nauseous. Mm -hmm. 
what are the two like uh, watery semi-solid or solid no watery stools mm -hmm. uh, can be easily flushed or any blood in associated with diarrhea it's it, it's it sticks to the to the the toilet pan mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, have you know uh, have you any mouth ulcer or fever or pain for red eye or joint or back pain or skin problem uh, yes i i have itching mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, do you have any disturbance uh-huh mm -hmm. i'm sorry mm -hmm. uh, how's your appetite my appetite is decreased mm -hmm. uh, have you noted any intentional weight loss no mm -hmm. uh, have you uh, been abroad recently sorry uh, have you been abroad recently or history of the travel outside the country no travel outside mm -hmm. do you have uh, long stand history of constipation no standing history of constipation mm -hmm. uh, did uh, the tummy pain relieved by busing stool or increased by the social stress no it has no relation with the social stress and passing stool mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, do you have any other medical condition uh, no i i guess no mm -hmm. uh, do you have any surgery before no i never had ex gone a surgery before mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, do you take any medication? No. What is your occupation? I work as a medical student. Mm -hmm. uh, who is at the home with you? Sorry? Who is at home with you? Who is at the home with you? I live alone. Good. Mm -hmm. uh, do you smoke? Uh, I do smoke. Uh, how many uh, packets per day? I smoke very occasionally. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, do you drink alcohol? No, I don't. Mm -hmm. uh, anything else in the family have the same the problem? Uh, sometimes, uh, sometimes I take uh, this uh, tablet. Uh, a friend told me about, and it relieves my pain. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, what do you think that cause? you said what do, do i think is the cause yes mm -hmm. i don't know yeah. what are you most concerning about most concerning yes what is, what is your concern i doubt if 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 there is anything wrong with my body uh that's why mm -hmm. I came to the hospital and I am I'm, I'm fearful maybe it's, something is not wrong. Mm -hmm. uh, what are you uh, hoping us to do for you? Sorry? What are you expecting? What are you hoping us to do for you? I just don't want to get surgery for whatever the condition it is. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, do you have mm -hmm. any problem in bus urine uh, or chest pain? Uh, no, it's normal. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Anything else you want to add? Uh, nothing, nothing of the sort. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you. Nice to meet you, Mr. Burhan. Yes, can you present your history now, please? You're welcome. Uh, welcome. Uh, regard the, uh, the history of uh, uh, Mr. Burhan, 90 years old, uh, presented with the sudden of the severe uh, generalized abdominal pain, colic in nature, associated with nausea and the two episode of the lost emotion. And uh, uh, he is uh, healthy and uh, 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 and uh, 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 not associated with other symptoms. Uh, I think uh, my professional diagnosis could be uh, an inflammatory bowel disease like uh, uh, Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis yes. and infective uh, and also uh, infective gastroenteritis, colorectal cancer and diverticular disease and the uh, irritable bowel disease. Okay, uh, how do you uh, how do you think patient should be managed? The management after history and examination and the investigation, the investigation like uh, routine blood flow, blood count, urea and electrolyte and the CRB and ESR and the liver function test and the uh, magnesium and phosphate and coagulation, sc uh, coagulation screen and the uh, albumin uh, serum uh, and the stool sample and fecal occult blood test and the abdominal uh, x-ray to assess for uh, toxic uh, megacolon and the CT scan and the MRI of the abdomen and, uh, and the pelvis uh, and the uh, colonoscopy. What should be the treatment for this patient? The treatment uh, could be uh, medical, uh, like uh, mesalazine and prednisolone uh, and uh, anifliximab as condition necrosis sector alpha, uh, and uh, start with the uh, uh, low residual diet and avoid the anti-diarrheal drugs. Uh, if the field conservative treatment can be done surgical in in cases in toxic megacolon, malignant transformation, fistula formation, intestinal obstruction, and the field medical treatment. Good, thank you. Thank you, Dr. Burhan. Thank, Thank you, Dr. Mohammed. Yes. Thank you, Dr. Mohammed. Gratified, yes. gratified. It was inflammatory bowel disease. I thought maybe you will guess it. A patient was young. Uh, you said a stool sticks to the pen, maybe in pancreatitis, but not maybe in case of inflammatory bowel disease. But anyway, this was your first attempt. And uh, that's how you will learn. Very good. Thank you. Yes, anyone else want to add anything? Dr. Brown, do you have any questions? Yes, please. Uh, yeah, I do have the question. Yes. Uh, I was answering the questions based on that that yes. Uh, yes. four liner four liner question that was given to the candidate. Yes. So if I would have uh, led this uh, the, the candidate to some other diagnosis like pancreatitis or statoria yeah. So, would it have been pertinent to, uh, for him to uh, give the diagnosis on the basis yes, of doesn't what matter. I am leading to him? Yes, because uh, by all means, he has to give me four diagnosis. This is differential diagnosis. Um, uh, no one expects anyone uh, at this level, at MRCS level, to tell uh, the provisional diagnosis. You always have to tell four or five differential diagnosis and the most common one number one as number one okay and then the second most likely as number two like this like dr mohammed Lian has told so that's how you have to do doesn't matter what you say but like in the exam scenario in the exam condition there are certain common scenarios they always come and uh, patients are very trained actors they don't mislead you they take you exactly, even if you're missing a question or you're not asking or ruling out cancer or anything, they'll, they'll take you there. So you don't miss the diagnosis by all means. Okay. Okay. So they will not uh, mislead lead you. to they, any other, di no, any no, other never, diagnosis ex never. except the one they are asking in question. Yes, exactly. And the, the, the actors. Patients are actors mostly and they are very well trained. This is not their first time. Like they are very well trained. They don't mislead like people say in lab. Patients mislead. Mm. They don't mislead. They'll take you exactly to the right diagnosis and they are very helpful. All this. This is what but everyone if, has told but me. If, but, uh, but if the, the patient or the dummy they have given for us 
if that patient uh, gives very minimal information about that diagnosis and uh, like for example uh, they very confused i mean very it would not be confusing I mean, they, and they don't give you minimal information it can happen mm -hmm. that patient is talkative and they will talk a lot and you are in a hurry because timer six minutes is the timer uh, which you have to respect the time and then you can interrupt and bring them back to the question that you want them to answer so that can happen that they are talkative they may talk a lot they, they want, maybe want to take tell you all their stories not misleadingly but it's just to show you the nature that some patients love to talk a lot so then you have to it's your duty as as an exam candidate to bring them to the topic to the subject Back want to yes want to be so, asked yes but it wouldn't be a problem like if you practice like this that like dr Muhammad is doing you'll become perfect um, and there are certain so scenarios much. they come again and again so it's not mm -hmm. a problem it's not even difficult it's easy rather easy right dr sandeep thank you thank dr. you Guran. thank you so much yes should we move on